Mold in the bedroom is one of the most problematic, as you breathe in the allergens and toxins over a number of hours. Over the years, we have inspected thousands of bedrooms and we collected the following data. The most common toxic mold types found in bedrooms ordered by presence are Penicillium and Aspergillus group, Catomium, Stachybotrys, and Alternaria. Only 11% of tested bedrooms didn't have any presence of mold. To know the other common mold types found in bedrooms, check out our mold statistics page. If you are ready to give your bedroom a mold check, you should focus on walls, windows and ceilings first. Along with that, you should check floors, clothes and even plants if you have them in the bedroom, because mold loves all those places. If you have completed your check and are sure there's no sign of mold, you're in luck. This is the perfect time to take some precautions to help prevent mold from growing in your bedroom. Ventilation is key for proper mold prevention. Each morning when you get up, open all the windows in your bedroom and leave them open for at least 5 minutes. Not only will that decrease the level of humidity, but it will ensure that fresh air replaces the stale night air. If there is a carpet in your bedroom or in another room for that matter, it is important to keep your carpet clean to prevent mold from invading. Dirt is basically organic food for mold. Regular vacuuming, cleaning and ensuring carpets are dry will do the job. Airflow is very important for mold prevention. Bearing that in mind, it's a good idea to keep your furniture slightly removed from the walls. This creates enough space for fresh air to circulate between the walls and the furniture, which will dry up any moisture and prevent mold from developing. If you already have a mold problem, call Mold Busters and we will take care of it. To become an expert in protecting yourself and your family against mold, visit BossMold.com and subscribe to our channel.